and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PUDLE at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, I'm going to be going over the aftermath of literally the worst market crash in Madden history that I've witnessed with my own eyes. Now, don't tell me back in Madden 14, back in Madden 16, there was this one day where every car, like, 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 like you're in some old timer. Guys, I know there's probably been some really bad market crash, but with my own eyes, this is the worst. And I've been playing since Madden 13, and I've, I love the auction block. It's one of the worst things I've ever seen personally. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I have 580 coins. That is all you guys need to know about what I thought of yesterday. You guys know that I typically don't buy a lot of things. I'm very cautious with my coin. I spent every last coin down to the And just getting to that last coin was hard because like I needed I needed like a thousand. I was selling gold cards to get enough coins to buy the last thing I needed. Guys, my team is absolutely ridiculous now. Ridiculous. I am super hyped. Super hyped to finally play with the team on Weekend League. There's so much stuff that that yesterday brought about guys christmas day combined with christmas ltd combined with christmas new packs combined with new players combined with ghost and madden pass absolutely destroyed everything we knew and loved about the madden market and i'm super hyped about it honestly because i picked up some really cheap cards i heard a lot of people a lot of people I, you know it made me feel good yesterday when i had thousands of comments people like got th thank you poodle for all the times that you told me not to buy yet just wait towards we'll wait till christmas wait till the presents come out because if you wait, there's a good chance you get them off really cheap. So people saved so many coins. They bought God Squad yesterday. I was telling you guys that was the move. I mean, I might not have been too right about the saving on presents thing. That was me. I told you guys buy presents. Like uh, my personal opinion, I wasn't buying them because I wanted coins for like a market crash. If I spent all in presents, I wouldn't have been able to sell. It. See, that's the issue. If you spent all in presents, you couldn't sell everything back for a good value yesterday, which meant you couldn't, you would miss out on the market crash. So it was like a, it was like a, we had to weigh that off kind of. What do I have all these packs for? My weekend league packs. All right, I'm gonna open these while I do my little intro. So guys. Quickly, if you are new to the channel, you guys probably, or if you're not, you already know the 25 days of Pudmas. All you gotta do to enter these daily giveaways is subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment down below the secret word and your console. That, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, 81 Brandon Carr right there. Now, guys, we're gonna go over the aftermath of the Madden market crash. So, let's head on out of these packs right here. I was hoping I pulled some hot fire, but obviously I wasn't going to. So, yesterday was a great day. I was actually like, I was getting what I like to call Madden anxiety, where I literally, I was like in the car driving and I had to come back home. I had to get on the Xbox again because I, I just, I could feel prices going down and money not being made. I, I could like sense it. It was like a really bad feeling yesterday. So let's go to the 88s. I like to start there. See the damage that's been done. Guys, now, as you guys know from the video yesterday, the 88s and everything, those markets are so bad that you have to filter them. Like you can filter out 35K down to 22K. Like that's literally what we saw yesterday. 34k so the 88s have recovered a little bit surprisingly i saw flashbacks for 22k yesterday all right so they they recovered a little bit so this is the guys this is always gonna happen that's what i always tell you guys market crash inbound market crash inbound crash bye 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 and then it'll, it'll get back to like right here and it'll just steady out here so it'll never go back to as high as it was but it'll never be as low as it was it'll be like here for like a week or two and then when the new comes out then it'll go that and that'll be the new norm but for the time being, that's why I always recommend you buy. Like you, you know when there's peak prices. It's like a Mon Green, let's just say. 300K, 300K, 300K. 220, 220, 220, 220. You're like, wait, maybe it goes down cheaper. 225, 235, 245, 250, 260, 260. And then, it, and then it evens out. That's always the pattern. You guys know when it's hitting that point when like things just don't get any cheaper. It's like 220, 221, 219. It keeps getting posted for the same price. And then you see one for 227. Then you're like, mm, maybe I should buy. That's always that weird point that you might mess up on. But... You always gonna stay on top of that. Let's go over to the 90s. 88s obviously went back up a little bit. Let's check out the legends. These legends were like 50k yesterday. They were super cheap. Have they recovered too? They recovered a little bit. So things are getting back up. All you guys are breaking out the credit cards and scooping up everything on the market. You guys remember when Gale Sayers was like the best running back in Madden? Yeah. Been a long time. It's crazy how things have changed. It's it really is. Not too long ago, Shannon Sharp was one of the best tenant. He's still honestly really, really good. Not, not gonna trash him just yet, but. It's crazy. All, I remember all these legends one by one. Every every Saturday, you guys are here with me dropping these guys. And they were so crazy. And that is it. We are going, we're entering the Madden Apocalypse where every card 99s and everything's just all fun and, and dandelions. But we're almost there at least. That starts in like February. After Team of the Year is when that all starts. Guys, it has been crazy. Time has really flown here. But flew, flown, I don't really know. So let's get to the 1993s. This is where all the meat starts. This is where all the fun stuff starts. So... These cards were below 90, like about 90k. Actually. Let's see the series reductions. Let's start with those. Let's filter those out. 
110k so these went up a slight amount these can't go up too much though because of just the nature of the game and the point we're at now guys the one thing that did really happen yesterday mutt 10 cards are at an all-time high i regret not buying michael vick for 200k because now i can't power up my vick because people are um a-holes and they decided oh you want michael vick to power up okay we're gonna make him half a million coins so as far as powering up bo jackson what i have to do i have to go take my power pass off randy moss and put him into bo jackson so now I don't have Randy Moss anymore, but I now have a 95 power pass sitting there that I can't use, which kind of sucks, but I'm kind of just hoping these cards come down eventually. But all the Mutt 10 cards, it sucks. All these Mutt 10 cards need their Mutt 10 cards, all these Mutt 10 new cards, I need their old Mutt 10 cards to be powered up. So those cards definitely skyrocket. So if you guys own any of those, I recommend you sell them now. They will come back down. It's just the hype that everyone's like, I need to power up Vic and Bo Jackson now. Give it a week or two, they all come back down. So if you have them, I recommend you sell them. Now it does scare me though, right? Those cards were rare cards, and they weren't the easiest to get. Obviously, they have Redux cards now, but they're not the easiest to pull, so I wonder how long the market might be impacted for. Something I was wondering. I check out the Legends real quick. See what we're rocking with. 103k. These actually did hit 80 90k yesterday. I really hope you guys bought Team Jets today. I really hope you did, because now you could just sell back and just reap profit. That's literally what you could do. You could just reap so much profit right about it. Your word is Grinch. Comment down below the word Grinch. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. And comment your comments. I want you to do all the standing journey to win. Good luck. Now. Gene Upshaw was 145 yesterday. I actually I think I was looking at him on, looking at him on video yesterday. Krishna Koi was 200k flat. Things really, really came back up last night. It was it was about to happen though, so I'm not like complaining about. It. Let's go to the 94 95s and see what's going on over here. So it appears the ghost cards, the the ghost of Madden present didn't get a didn't go back too much. Christian McCaffrey's base 190 now. It was bound to happen. You know, I couldn't have anticipated the damage that Ghost of Madden, Go, Ghost of Madden Pass would do and Presence would do. I couldn't imagine any of that happening. But, guys, there's still a chance for a Blitz. So, if there is a Blitz, and I think there is going to be a Blitz. There was a thing that said, like, hard-hitting quick storm coming over a uh, certain day. I think it was Friday. So, that could very well mean a Blitz. There's a high potential that that's what that means. So, just letting you guys know, if that is a Blitz... It's pretty cool, and that's going to impact the kindling market, so just stay tuned for all that. Wow, Walter Payton took a big hit, too. Walter Payton was the best running back in Madden for less than 24 hours before Bo Jackson just was like, nah, get out of here. Walter Payton was almost the best running back, and then Bo messed that up. And then there's, well, and then there's a new Sean Taylor. He did come down a little bit, but he definitely should be a little bit cheaper than that. But his name's Sean Taylor, so he's going to be held up just by that simple fact. Now let's go to the Ghost of Madden present, because those cards definitely took a hit. Patrick Mahomes is 190k. That's crazy. Michael Vick just ruined him, as well as all the other snow players. But guys, this is another set that if you really want to do isn't horrible. You could probably get the set done for about 600k. The set with Gurley, Van Der Esch, and um, you probably get it for like 5, 570k. And you end up with JJ Watt. What does JJ Watt go for right about now? Oh, he only goes for 271. So it's a decent set if you want to keep all the cards. But I personally don't like Gurley or Van Der Esch. As much as Mahomes, and even with Mahomes, that's kind of hard to do. So I don't think I'd even recommend doing that at this point. Now let's see the Ghost of Madden past. So they go, yeah, they're going for about 299, except for Bo Jackson. He's like a little bit over. He's 301. There's a big, there's a big difference there of 2K. So these guys are super cheap. I recommend you get all of them. I will have a video going for you guys. I will have a video coming out for you guys going over all this. So stay tuned for that. Don't buy these cards until you see that video. It might be beforehand. It might be after the fact. I'm not entirely sure just yet. But it is crazy the the impact that these cards had on the market yesterday. And then the Harvest cards are still holding up some value somehow. Michael Irvin and Nitran Lane still holding value. Nitran Lane still a pretty good cornerback. You know what it is too? People are like, oh, we gotta sell Michael Irvin and Nitran Lane for the Zero Chill promo because they're not gonna be great anymore. And Zero Chill comes out. Oh, there's not that many better wide receivers or cornerbacks. All right, the value comes back up. Then it's like, oh, but the Ghost of Madden to come now. Michael Irvin and Nitran Lane crashed again. They're gonna be better cards. Mel Blunt comes out, he's identical to Nitrain Lane, and then Michael Irvin, like, okay, maybe they're still pretty good. They, they go right back up. It's funny, people keep selling these cards off thinking they're gonna die, and then they don't. Nitrain Lane's actually surprisingly good, and still is good compared to other cornerbacks. But, guys, I think that pretty much wraps up the whole the whole thing of the market. What do we, I think we have one, is there any 96s we got yet? Yeah, we have Vic, that's about it. So, Vic's our first 96, our first guys to surpass 95 overall in Madden. Go figure, it's Michael Vick. You know what sucks though? Back in the day, back any other year besides the year, before Lamar Jackson was relevant, it was like, oh my God, Vick was like, all hail Vick. Sell everything, take your pants off, just do what you gotta do to get Vick. That was it. 
Now it's like, oh, Vic's out, 480k. Never in my lifetime have I seen a Vic drop as the highest overall card in the game with crazy stats be below half a million coins. Never, never once, never once have I ever seen that. Vic, base, standard, a million coins. There's no debate, there's nothing about it. It's been a very weird year in terms of card popularity. A lot of modern day cards are starting to surpass some legends in terms of stats that they're giving, at least that's how EA is doing it now. So, really changing the game. But guys, that is about it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy the aftermath of the market crash. I'm gonna start doing these videos a lot more so I can explain to you guys what happens after the fact that we should be taking what we're actually be going with after. If you guys had if you guys bought a lot of those cheaper cards yesterday, check the price difference. If they went up like 30-40k, you can always sell and make a ton of coins back. So it's up to you guys if you want to go that route. Pretty much all I gotta say on the top. But guys, it is the 25 days of poopments. All you gotta do to enter is like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment down below the secret word you heard throughout the video, and comment your comments once you do those things that you're entered to win. Hope you guys enjoyed your Christmas yesterday. Hope you guys enjoy the day after Christmas. I will be doing tons of returns and going to some stores, so. I'm going to be stuck in a crazy traffic today, but it is what it is. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys next video. Peace.